there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish it were true. What do you mean you wish it was true? This n is like, I wish it was true. As he drinks his whale sperm. Why I throw the cactus before I go into the ocean. This is probably the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in the ocean. Huh. I've seen my mom swimming. Huh, that wasn't that bad. Actually, a big fin squid and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Scientists believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean floor, snatching up anything unlucky enough to accidentally brush up against it. Damn. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid, we know almost nothing about it. We don't know how they mate, how they live. All we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the- So why would I be scared of them? They're 15,000 feet in the ocean. I'll still be swimming on the top, you know, just living life. They they 15,000 feet down. I ain't got nothing to worry about. No facts, but they slowly get more and more disturbing. Blue whales okay. can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female, meaning 360 gallons get dumped back out. In case you're wondering, that's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. 400 liters of sperm? Wait, 400 liters of sperm? Suck it off! Gray whales will go three player with two males and a female. While the first male is getting his rocks they off, just the like second us. wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place they... for a process that can last up to an hour. And friendly reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales- That's a whale's penis? What the- Why did- Like, there was no need for me to ever see this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Friendly reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the senses. Blue Why? whales are big, but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They're a heartbeat? You telling me I can sit on the shore and the blue whale is in two miles, you just hear boom, 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 boom. No, no, that's bullshit. I need proof. They can swallow almost half a million calories at once. Allegedly, a whale's far bubble can enclose a full grown horse. And because I am who I am, I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis was about 16 feet long and weighed anywhere from 700 to 900 pounds. Hey, buddy, you got competition. Cow. <laughs> 16 feet, bro, that weak shit. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish it were true because the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free. What do you mean you wish it was true? This nigga's like, I wish it was true. As he drinks his whale sperm. <laughs> but it isn't. Most of the ocean salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually reaches the ocean. The reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on billions of years. Some of the mm. salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. Most but yeah, of the time. you don't have to worry about salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned with the fact that your perfume used to be made from whale vomit. The more you know. Fish you should be hey. most afraid of isn't don't the got shark. Nothing to do with me. It's the stonefish, because it can deliver venom powerful enough to cause crippling pain and toxic enough to activate your life insurance in less than two hours. This fish is armed with a venom called verucotoxin, and as a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. Mm. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. But no worries, it gets worse. It what? always gets worse. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis. Ah. Then you would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Okay. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over. Okay, but it still might be breathable though. Victims described the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body, and even if you survive, you could still walk away with permanent nerve damage and muscle atrophy. Oh, but there's okay. two big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most dangerous fish on Earth. One is this picture. Because the stonefish looks like a stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one, and when you do, those spines would get shoved up your- Wait, in fact, there's four of them in this picture. My nigga, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one, and when you do, those spines would get shoved up your foot, and the harder you step, the more poison gets pumped into you. And number two, they can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. Because Australia is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. Should it's in Australia! Why the hell do I have to care? Why would I ever go to Australia as an American? They have nothing I want over there. Nothing. Had me worried for no reason, but had me tiptoeing in the ocean. My nigga, Australia. There's nothing good there. Besides kangaroos, kangaroos are kind of cool. Never pick this shell up because it's actually one of the most venomous things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. 
That would be like getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts, because ironically, this snail is one of the fastest animals on the planet, being able to hit you almost as fast as you can blink. A That's snail, not the only thing nigga. Fast about them because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail, because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one, you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. So you're telling me this is the type of shit Gary be on? If Gary really wanted to, he could pack up SpongeBob. That's all I'm hearing. If you got stung, you would immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, numbness, and vomiting. But don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that point, you can go ahead and start printing out shirts because you finna be on one. And even though the cigarette thing was an exaggeration, it could take only five to eight hours for them to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now the problem with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey, and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine, which works on what? fish and stupid people that pick them up. But they don't just use one though, like Tyson, they be on them combos. They can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The only cure is to try not to die and become a Snapchat memory. Nigga, what? It's in the jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean. I should probably explain uh, what the hell uh, this is. Uh, that was an angel shark, and that's the worst Call of Duty player you'll ever meet. The angel shark will lie motionless for days waiting for him to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its I'm starting to realize I relate a lot to fish. <laughs> Reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfect be harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small shrimp. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant placemat couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection, something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta, manta rays. Manta rays are low-key cute. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean, and they do it to get rid of parasites. If you don't look at their eyes. But sometimes it seems like they do it just for fun. They have the largest brain of any fish, making them arguably the smartest things in the ocean that don't also belong on a list with Cosby. That isn't a TV guy. Baby manta mm. rays are called pups, and a mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there, and no, this is not edited. This pink manta ray was found off the coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef, proving that that country is both a national treasure and Satan's jungle gym. They're smart enough to form strong emotions. It's in Australia. I don't give a fuck about it no more. Yeah, it lost all its relevancy from being in Austra Australia. What would happen if you took one of the meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Well, two things. One, you'd have one of the most violently aggressive animals on Earth walking on land, and two, okay. I know this because it technically happened and they exist. It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins, dolphins of any 100%, kind. They jump yeah. sharks for no reason, slap box their babies, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. And the worst dolphin of all actively tortures other animals for sport. Dolphins yeah, and animals are part of a Dolphins are like the, the, the animal in the ocean that's closest to humans are dolphins, to be honest. The dolphins are the humans of the water. Tations, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi-aquatic and then fully aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land, and about 54 million years ago, they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land, and after millions of years of plot development, they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. The African homicide horse is actually the closest living relative of whales and dolphins. Once Damn. a bipolar tank with Wait, Ridge what? Homicide horse is actually the closest living relative of whales. There's the closest? I mean, I guess, but like, nigga, fish? Like, what? Like, they're not closer? Like, what are we talking about? You remember that dolphin sound effect from SpongeBob that was supposed to be like a sensor? You know what the yeah. f I'm talking about. Well, that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin. It was actually the sped up laughter of the kookaburra. It's a kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying way too hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. You may not be able to hear it, but when you double the playback speed, you can hear the sound that cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. <laughs> Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack tweet. Well, I mean, who told us they were dolphin sounds in the first place? I don't remember them ever saying, oh, this is a sound of a dolphin, so hey, maybe we're just stupid. <laughs>